Um, so hey, I'm Liam. I am a rising sophomore, so class of 2024. Um, hi, I'm Jennifer. I am class in 22 originally, but I've taken a gap year, so we'll be class 23. So my name is Joshua. Um, I'm a rising sophomore. I'm probably going to concentrate um, in Econ. So it was pretty unexpected um, when we got booted off campus back in March of last year. I was supposed to go back home to Vancouver. I'm from Vancouver, um, Canada, but my parents were both in China at the time. My dad was working in Shanghai and I didn't know how long I was going to be here for at the time, but I've been here for, dang, I've been here for over a year now. Yeah. So I, I went in with really low expectations. I was like, oh, it's going to suck. We're going to be like stuck in our rooms all day. Uh, class is going to be bad. Um, social life's going to suck. We're not going to meet anyone. But I actually, social life was not bad at all. I, I met a lot of people. Um, I think. This year kind of sucked, I think, for international specifically. I'm one of the only ones I knew who was, who was able to go to campus. Um, but with the visa restrictions, all the freshmen kind of got screwed um, in terms of that, just because they weren't, they weren't allowing new, new students to come um, from, from like different countries. So all, like, I had a couple of international friends I was really looking forward to meeting, and I wasn't able to meet any of them yet because they weren't, they were hot, they had to stay home last year. I think the most difficult thing was the times of difference and just how, quote unquote like out of touch we felt with like the first year experience though there was like a lot that was done to try and I guess make up for that but it just wasn't the same there are certain classes we couldn't take or if you took those classes you had to sacrifice because the classes are held at a time that may not be convenient for you also just like generally a lot of like the social events for like clubs were usually at like 7 p.m. Eastern time. And that, or like six, generally after the day is, is, is over. And that would translate to like very late into the night for, for some of us. So that was like something definitely like very difficult. Because at first when I started my gap year, I was sort of concerned that I, it was a balance between like, I know that I'm okay with not having a plan per se for my gap year um because everything was pretty unplanned to begin with but at the same time I was like I wonder like what I'm going to get up to especially being in a country that I had never actually lived in before um only visited in April I started interning at um, CAA Creative Artist Agency um one of the biggest agencies in the U.S. and they have offices in China and so I was very lucky to be able to get an internship here. Um, but basically I had applied to the US student internship program at first. Um, that was a virtual program, but then they said that they don't provide visa sponsorship for international students. So that didn't work out, but then I thought, hey, like I'm in person in China right now, like maybe there's some opportunity that I could do here. And so I was very lucky that things worked out. The, I think the day I left was the day the mask mandate was removed. So people were actually just going out without masks. Um, and I got back to Italy, and I, this is after spending a year in college, um, like constantly being social, like meeting people, like going out to dinner, like, and then I got back to Italy and I was talking to my friends and I realized that they basically lost an entire year. They had like a 10 o'clock curfew every day, every night. It was like actually enforced by the government. And they still had like very strict, um, like travel restrictions. Like you could barely go to other, like to neighboring like regions. Um, no, like foreigners were allowed in. Like I, like even me getting in was a pain. So I did like a bunch of COVID tests just to get in, um, even though I was vaccinated. Um, and I, I was only really allowed in some citizen, basically. We are definitely not going to get vaccinated anytime soon, um, at least before getting to campus. So um, I think our only way would be to like get vaccinated once we get on campus. People our age group, it's going to be hard for us to get vaccinated because a lot of the people who are, need to get vaccines like uh, persons above like 60 and um, frontline workers. Um, I think a lot of them still haven't gotten vaccinated. So by the time it gets to us, we may be like eligible probably next year onwards. For like a good percentage of the population, people are actually very, very eager to get vaccine. The only issue people have is is like there may not be second doses. I think people are hesitant to that extent that, you know, I may be able to get my first dose, but then I'm not assured of a second dose. And then what happens? But yeah, it was very like, 
easy. It was a very smooth process. And I was just waiting for like when it was available to foreigners, because I am a foreigner here as well. Um, and so as soon as it became accessible, I was like, okay, well, you just like go on your phone, you pick a time slot, you show up. Um, and then from there, like the whole process was like 10 to 15 minutes. And then they're like three weeks later, 21 days later, you come back to your second shot. So going back soon. So it was just been crazy to see like how I've surprised myself, I guess. I was dancing, taking classes and I, um, I participated briefly on a reality dance competition show in China. Um, I was, I started prepping for the show like end of August and then we, I was done filming like mid October. Um, I think just having the entire year online sort of makes you appreciate the, the, the little subtle things about like normal school life, just getting to attend class at nine and having your day end at five, you know, operate during normal hours, have a somewhat regular sleep schedule, something that I'm really, really looking forward to. Um, past that is the whole aspect of like meeting people, getting to build relationships that maybe we didn't have like an opportunity to, you know, to make during our first year. And that's just generally like being on campus, actually getting to be on campus because, you know, for a lot of us and like my Kenyan um, fellow international students, you know, like going to school, it's probably the first time we are going to get to to the States. Like it's our first time making such a long distance journey out of the country. So I can say it's, it's exciting in that sense. There's something about just having just a freshman on campus last year um, kind of made us kind of forced to meet each other. So I think... I really think going forward that the 2024 is going to be a really tight-knit class because of this. It's just been very like fast-paced and um, very exciting all the time. Haven't 100% decided yet if I'm going back to campus in the fall. Um, so I may extend um, my gap for another semester and go back in the spring. But I think the, the thing that trumps all is just that I mean, the thought of being reunited with everyone is like, oh, so there's that. <laughs>